Alright you guys, well, welcome back to the shop. Um, like I said, this is <clears throat> just a small little area in my building here that I do stuff with. Um, kind of going to do a shop talk Tuesday. I'm going to get behind some of that. Um, show you my new hunting style knife that I'm making. Um, I think it's going to be turn out pretty nice. Gives you a real nice finger hold, and it's gonna have a, a, a real nice shaped handle, so it's gonna be, you know, nice to do your cut fine cuts with. Uh, and I also have another Brushy Mountain Bushcrafter uh, that's come out of temper with that knife, uh, and I want to talk a little bit about um, handle material. got some new handle material come in um, this here is, is uh, polyester um, so I'm not real sure what this is gonna be like um, kind of gonna give it a try I'm sure it'll be kind of like the uh, acrylic handles that I make And of course, I got another acrylic handle. Uh, this comes from Texas Knife Makers. Um, they have really quality stuff. I also have a couple of G10s. Uh, this is Tiffany. This is going to be kind of like a special edition. I, I don't know if it would be um, this more directed toward the, uh, the ladies. I'm going to make a dark sheath and have uh, another piece of leather across it that will be. I have a design in it uh, pretty similar to this. Um, and I also have the uh, G10, the red and black G10. I like it really well. Most of this comes from Pops. Um, they have really quality stuff too. And of course this is uh, some more uh, Texas Knife Makers. Uh, this is called Shark Attack, I think is what it's called. But it has uh, dark blue, black, and red run through it. And this is, I'm not sure what the name of this one is called, um, but I picked it up. I think it'll be pretty nice. And I got some Dymalux. Um, the, from the best I can understand, this is layered stabilized wood. Um, this would be a, like a teal green, black, or what I'm assuming is going to be black. It may be like a whitish grayish color. I've had a red uh, set of handles. It was black, kind of like a gray and red. They're, uh, it turned out pretty nice. Um, it's a little hard to work with, but uh, I can get by that. Kind of back to this. Um, of course, these are tempered. So I run these uh, two times in the oven at 400 degrees for two hours. Um, so I've got four hours kind of wrapped up into this. Now I do take a little bit of this material off just to keep from having to um, grind on material that uh, is hardened because it's. Uh, it wears out a uh, sanded belt pretty quick, um, especially the cheap ones from Harbor Freight like I buy. Um, and of course, you know, it's uh, well, 
it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, today I'm carrying my Pry Bird. Uh, it has a, a utility knife in it, which is pretty nice. And I'm also carrying the uh, Mini Squid and Orange G10. Uh, it's pretty nice. It, it kind of fits in the... Uh, well, it's not even really fits in the palm of your hand. It's a whole lot smaller than that. Uh, this is D2 tool steel on this. Um, it has the uh, assisted opening. And uh, you don't have to use the little thumb flicker. You can use that, the, the thumb studs to open it with. Uh, make it pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, oh, let's see. Let me bring it all over here, maybe. So what I'm using to, to do all this with is the uh, Central Machinery 1x30. Uh, I only get a couple of different belts. Uh, these belts are 80 grit. They're pretty nice. Uh, of course, I have more 80 grit of these. Uh, this one here is 120, but uh, it uh, it does pretty good. Uh, of course, I got my drill bits over there. My jigsaw. Of course, that's just a cheap Walmart jigsaw, but it works very well. I have my ferric chloride. I actually made this tube to put that in. And of course, I have some files back here. Uh, I use those quite often. Uh, I find that uh, just a cheap file from Walmart works pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> of course, my leather doppers are hung up because you can reuse those I uh, also got one over here and then my half mask from Klein Tools that works pretty good uh, of course my makeshift um, etcher and right now it's charging my lawnmower battery because I will soon have to mow. <clears throat> of course, I have all my leather dies down here. Um, and I've always used this dauber right here for water. Uh, and I've got some small jeweler's files here that I've just shoved through the board. I drilled a hole and shoved it through there. Um, and that works pretty good for now. Uh, of course, looking here, uh, of course, I got me some heat going. Um, and I said I got the new style hunt knife, which I am really liking right now. Uh, let's see. I've got this central machinery, which is Harbor Freight. Uh, this drill press was actually give to me. Uh, buddy of mine give it to me uh, Works pretty good. I've had to do a little bit of work to it, but it works very well for knife making uh, Of course, I've got the uh, central machinery central machinery uh, I've got that I believe this is a three inch Let's see. Yeah, three inch uh, Bench grinder. It's got the little buffing wheel over there of course I, f I found that I use a whole lot more the attachment that it come with the Dremel tool um, it actually attaches to the side of this thing and it does pretty good it does very well for what it is and over here I kind of keep some of this stuff I got you know ink pens and pencils and stuff and then I've got my small 
seeing G10 and this and um, of course I've got some uh, let's see stamp sets these are just from Hobby Lobby uh, and most of this uh, Concho I'm assuming that's how you say that Concho these are from Hobby Lobby too um, I got that one I've got several different of these there's a buffalo nickel but I have several of that that kind of stuff I got my bar bar uh, leather dice uh, up here with my leather dye stuff I've got my wildlife stamp um, they got the deer bear and the fish on there and uh, let's see we'll keep on going right here with this I use this for the ferric chloride to clean it up to keep it from to keep it from eating up finishing eat up my uh, material that's just kind of what I use. Uh, let's see. I got my leather working stuff. My edge trimmer. Or, yeah. Got my burnishing tools. And uh, stuff like that. I've got some of this extra stuff here that uh, come in that one kit that I bought from Amazon uh, in here. It's got some uh, threaders and kind of like a half thimble. Uh, let's see. I got my, that thing, I don't even know what it does. I got some extra needles in there and stuff too. Uh, the biggest thing is, uh, with knife making, you wouldn't figure uh, I like having my Q-tips uh, on the ready. You know, you, the more cleanup you do, the better off you are. And I've got all kinds of different threads. Um, the different colors, different color stuff. Some yellow, some browns. Um, there's some purple, some grays. Uh, all kind of different threads. Of course, I'd, I use some of that stuff with this other stuff, um, but the most thing I use is the black, and I've, I've just bought um, just like a simple roll of black. Of course, I keep my other handle material in here, and there, and there. I've got some templates in here, I like um, my different uh, holsters and stuff like that. Got right, some punches from Harbor Freight. If y'all can't tell, my favorite place is Harbor Freight. Uh, let's see. And I've got some more daubers uh, with little power scissors. And these are leather scissors here. Um, they actually they work really well. I believe that's about it. Yeah, that's it for that. And moving up to here, I've got all my different sandpapers, my 120, 220. I've got 400 in this one, 600 and 1,000. Uh, I've got some one inch clamps. And Let's see, I've got some, my Tinker Toms that are laid out right here. I kinda gotta get them. See, I use a little bit of this scrap stuff. Of course, that has a thin layer of G10 uh, between that. And uh, that's kinda what I use for that. Just to use as much as I can. There's another Tinker Tom. I cut a bunch of these out at one time because it's the spare material that I have. Um, 
like to keep all this stuff pretty accessible. My pricking irons for um, leather. Now, I've tried to make some of these uh, kind of keychain kind of deals with the, uh, spare leather that I've had that I've just kind of done with. Of course, we all need a tape measure. I've got one of those. Um, let's see, I've got some, an assortment of tapes and my whole, my, not my whole, but my um, steel stamps for leather. When I put my business name on there. And of course, you never can have too many clamps. I've got a bunch of those and uh, cutting wheels and some old saw blades that somebody give me that uh, I could probably make some knives with. Uh, of course, a cheap set of calipers, which I, I use sometimes, but most of the time I don't. Um, this is a little bit different of a setup here. I've got all my brass rod and my lanyard tube and all that stuff my steel rod now i got another eighth inch brass rod here now keeping that kind of up and out of the way i know i come up with that idea on the fly and uh, <clears throat> of course down here y'all have to excuse the mess um that's where i keep all my belt sanders and grinders and all that mess of stuff down there and that of course i've got uh a uh, toaster oven but i found that uh with everything i've got running i can't really run it to temper with yet um, just because that is um You know, a whole lot of juice, a whole lot of power. It's like a thousand watts that it uses. Um, and I'm guessing that's about it. Uh, Y'all have enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you've made it this far, God bless. Live life outdoors.